guys this is a highly requested tutorial and if you guessed that I used the curling wand you are correct yes I did use a heat styling tool and let me talk about heat for just a moment it is a personal preference like I've said in my other videos and if you use heat in your regimen or if you don't let me know down below and let me know how often you use it I'm actually very careful and everything in moderation I've never had heat damage and if you watch my previous video you know I wear enough froze and actually my damage came from froze and wearing too many so everything in moderation and be careful when you use it and some strands just can't handle heat and I know I noticed that after using heat my hair has done pretty well I haven't had heat damage but I'm very careful like my sisters for example they choose to not use heat because they've colored their hair so their hair would be more fragile and um, more prone to damage so just know your hair and actually know the temperature settings and unplug the heat styling tool as you're using it give it a break and then plug it back in I actually unplugged this one about three times because I didn't want it to be too hot so my hair is in six sections and here's the first layer of heat protectant I'm gonna spray I already have on leave-in conditioner and all of that my hair is is, uh, freshly washed so I'm rubbing that through and then I'm going to take a blow drying cream another heat protectant and I'm going to rub that through as well and then I'm going to just twist those sections up and now I'm going to do the tension method of blow drying and this blow dryer is actually like my flat iron where I can add a heat protectant in this little sponge that's in a nozzle and it's supposed to give off like a vapor I'm just doing it to be extra careful and I'm going to do a light tension method on um, each section of each twist in each section I guess if I said that right so I'm going to do the tension method a real light tension method and then I'm going to smooth each section off with a uh, paddle brush after I finger detangle and then I'm going to twist each section I like the curling wand that I'm going to use because it has temperature controls just like I like the temperature controls on my flat iron but still even with those I unplug it and I give it a rest for a while then I plug it back in um, to do another section of my hair so that I don't so that it's not too hot so um, once it is heated up you're going to take smaller sections of each section and you're just going to wrap your hair using a glove because you don't want to burn your fingers use the glove that comes with it wrap your hair around the wand and do not leave it on longer than 10 seconds and whenever I would count for 10 seconds I would count really fast like 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 and then um, I would not unravel the hair off I would just slide it down because I feel like if I unraveled it would take too long and it means my hair was on the wand even longer so there you go they're nice and bouncy and shiny and I'm just going to use my pick to fill in the gaps and this style did last for about almost three weeks yes of course the curls weren't as defined but my hair was still presentable and I liked it so you wouldn't even have to do this often I've, um, like I said use heat in moderation I like switching it up and I particularly like this style and I'm going to show you what I did at night a lot of you didn't know what pineappling was and there's my crusty morning face it's still dark outside and this is what my hair looks like the next morning and I'm just taking it down so that you can see I basically took a scarf and I wrapped it around and yes my curls still look presentable and like I said each day they're gonna fall more and more but it did last a good long while and I'm just showing you again how you just wrap it around at night pulling your hair up and I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial thanks for watching comment below like and subscribe and God bless and have a happy holidays